all and set up the node mon before moving on all right so first of all i simply type here npm i node mon dash dash save dash dev so whenever we add here dash dev this means that i am installing this package as dev dependency we only need it in the development all right so press enter here to install this package as dev dependency So it is installed successfully. If I go to my package.json file, you can see that in the dev dependency, I have nodemon here. So after installing it, we have to add some scripts here to basically tell him that whatever we want to do. So first of all, I simply type here script called start. And in the start, I will simply type here, I simply have to type here node, uh, sorry, backend slash server.js. So Star script will run the uh, uh, server.js with node command and I simply type here dev. So whenever we type here npm run dev, we want to run this app in the development mode. So I simply type here set node env equals to development. All right. And and node mon backend slash server and then for the production mode well it's new type and run prod for production it's new type here set node in physical production and node mon server a uh, backend slash server and this is capital all right and then we will add our more scripts for cedar and for Heroku later when we will use them all right so i simply save it from here and now if i simply uh, click on my terminal and type here npm i uh, sorry npm run dev press enter you can see that so node one is running so server starting on port 4000 in development mode if i press ctrl c from here and run in it production mode so npm run prod and this time you can see that so it is running in on port 4000 in production mode right so we have successfully installed nordmon and set up in our package or json file so in my next video i will show you that how we can create our first route that will be a dummy route and then we will set up our postman and move